Hi, this is Karen O'Brien and we just finished lesson one, part one. And so now we're going to go into lesson one, part two. Uh, this is a good QGIS lesson. It's not so much a Flow2D lesson, it's more for QGIS, but it's going to talk about how to organize map layers, create a recovery file, recover a project, and then open a project. So step one will be to organize the map layers. Manage map layers by grouping them. Uh, right, we'll basically going to move the layers, move the layers to the bottom of the map, get these two layers out of our out of a group, move them to the bottom of the map, and then group them all together and name the group. This GIF will show you the process. Pay attention to the time down here. Once the time stops, once the time is reset to zero, then you can start paying attention. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm back here in QGIS and what I want to do is manipulate this data. So first I'm going to get back in here in my user layers because that's where my data was loaded. I actually, I actually just moved it out. So I want to put it back where it should have automatically loaded when you were starting the lesson. Just want to put it back in here. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so it probably looked something like this. When you were working through your lesson, you probably just saw the whole grid was kind of covered up by all this mess. So what we're going to do is we're, we don't need, we don't really need this data anymore, but if we messed something up, we might need to get it back. And sometimes it's, in, it's good to have this data loaded, so I don't really take it out, it doesn't hurt anything. So the first step would be to move this one to the bottom. So I'm just going to right click it and click move to bottom. Since it's not in a group, it'll just move all the way to the bottom of the map. These two, this is the elevation and this is the roughness, and these two are in a group. So we need to move them out of the group before we can move them to the bottom. So right click, move out of group, and then they go to the top of the group they were in, right click, select them again, right click, move to bottom. Then we come all the way down here to the bottom and we right click and group selected. And I'm just going to call this group, uh, this can be project data, external data, just anything to let you know what this is. Because we'll get other groups along the line, some called results and other kinds of data. So project data, let me, minimize this so you can see it a little better. I'm just going to call the group project data and if I open it you can see that my data is in here and I can also turn it quickly, turn it on and off or turn them on and off individually. Okay and the next step is to save the, well let's just get down in here, is to create the recovery file. So if QGIS is still open at this point, you want to save it and then close it. I'm going to show you why we want to close it before we do the backup system. Find the QGIS Lesson 1, select the Lesson 1 GPKG and the Lesson 1 QG and zip them together. That's your backup file. That's your recovery point. Name the file to something good. I'm going to call it Lesson 1 Part 1 Complete or Lesson 1 Elevation and Manning's OK. Anything like that would do. So you zip it choose the name and then you can reload the project. All right, so now note this recovery step, you don't wanna do this step, just skip this step. The only reason I'm showing it to you is if you corrupted your data, this step would show you how to recover a project, okay? And then there's also a note in here about the project path. So if the project path changes, the plugin will automatically recognize a path change name and it will try to load the geo package from the new path. But if the pro if you move your project but there's an old geo package back in lesson one folder, then it's not going to do that. It's just going to open the data in the old location and you're going to end up either with two layers or uh, two, two uh, lot, groups of data or it's gonna break your QGIS. Either way, it doesn't really let you know that you did that. Okay, let's go ahead and we're just gonna save it. 
And the only reason I saved it is because I had to move these layers and that saves the QGZ. So this saves the QGZ. These guys manipulating these buttons and these buttons over here save the geo package. And then we'll close it. And what happened when I closed it, let me get back in here in lesson one, is that there were two extra files in here. They were called journaling files and they basically just store data and commit it to, at, to the geo package at the very end. So you don't want those to be open when you make your backup because it'll break when you try to reload the data. So you only want these two and you wanna make sure you close QJS all the way, right click, send to compressed file zip or 7z makes a really nice small geo package. So I'm gonna use 7zip. I'm gonna make it a 7z and I'm gonna do it again and I'm going to make a regular send to compressed so you can show, see the difference between the two. And this one I'll call lesson one part one okay or complete whatever and this one I'll call the same thing lesson one part one okay and look at the ch difference in the size of the two the geo the the 7z makes these much smaller than the uh than the standard zip and then of course once you're done you can either double click on the qgz or you can go back here and you can search QGIS and grab your QGIS. Yours will be 13.18.2. I'm using 13. Point. This is the latest release and this is a long-term release. So I'm using this one. And then drag that back onto that one as soon as it's opened. So as soon as QGIS opens, we'll, we'll get in here and we'll drag this back onto our map just like this and let it load and it's going to ask us do we want to load the model I'll just say yes and I don't need this so I'll just close it and you can see here these are those two files I was telling you about if you see those you can't make a backup so you need to close QGIS now if you do something in the next in the next step and it messes up your project you can just delete these guys delete these two Close QJS, delete these two files, and then run the extraction from either here or if you use 7Z, run your extraction like extract here. But either way, you need lesson one and lesson one QGZ and lesson one GPKG to stay in this folder. That's kind of the key to that whole operation. If you move it, just make sure that you cut it, not copy it. If you move the folder or rename the folder, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that there's not a geo package in that old path. All right, let's see, I think that's the end of that. Yep, that's the end of this one. So I'm going to pause this video here and we'll pick it up again for the next video will be in hydrology and the hydrology video will be right here.